Welcome back folks, this is Andre with ModelRailroadBenchwork.com. We're going to be continuing today with wiring our control panel. I'm starting today by flipping it over and today is going to be the day in which we start organizing all of these wires on the back side so they work as intended. There we go. Just want to make sure that the sink lays somewhat flat, doesn't have to be perfect. And it's more than likely not going to be perfect because we do have other things in the way. I've got a little control box over here i got to deal with. So today we're going to be organizing all of this chaos and turning it into something that makes sense. Now keep in mind when I build my control panels, excuse me, all of these wires are made to be removable. So what I'm going to be using is actually some quick connects. These are called strip light wire connecting. Um, they're, uh, they're little push connectors actually. So kind of like a, a terminal strip, but uh, instead of having the screws, it's actually just got a little push button that they connect with. And the nice thing about these is I can just super glue these in place. So I'll do something like this and then super glue this in here. And then I can connect wires from here to a terminal strip inside this connector, which then connects to the wire that goes all the way to the, uh, to the switch in this case. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and grab my super glue and my activator and we'll get going. Okay, so today I'm going to be using um, Super glue that's made by FastCap. It's a uh, 2P-10, and uh, this is a spray activator. So basically, think of a spray activator as like a, a fast forward button for for your glue. So you can put your super glue in and then spray it with this stuff, and it grabs instantly. Now I'm going to be using uh, the gel today, although it does come in a thick, a medium, and a thin as well. Um, I have found different uses for each of those products. The medium in particular works really well for filling in little holes with sawdust. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and put a little dab here on each side if I can get it to come out. They really do mean gel when they say gel. All right, let's this easy way. All right, there we go. Now it's working. So put a little dab on each side, and I'm just going to stick it any old place, like so, and then hit it with the activator. So, and then the next thing I'm going to do once this sets up is I'm going to pick a pattern. So, in this case, I know. My green and my yellow are the ones that pass through that go all the way over to the switch. And then my black one is the wire that um, just goes to the power source. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap these up. Now one of the reasons why I'm not um, soldering these wires is because these switches, these little uh, push controls, on occasion do arrive bad from the factory. It's not often. Um, the last layout I did, I did 33 push buttons, and 3 out of the 33 were bad. So, and that could have been my fault. Um, we don't know, but, uh, you know, the nice thing about the... It's just no questions asked, they just replace it, no big deal. So, in this case, I'm going green, yellow, black. So, every single set is going to be put together in that same pattern. What that does is that ensures that everything is going to be working in the same way, everything's connected in the same way, it makes it a lot easier. Following along with what I was already doing, I'm going to continue to um, super glue down the connectors. Um, these work really nice because you're literally just push the button, slide the wire in, and they're done. Um, makes it easy to make changes when you screw up uh, and otherwise uh, it just makes it a lot faster. So now we're going to fast forward here 
and you'll notice that I'm putting all of the connectors in in kind of similar patterns and putting them in groupings. Um, this is more so when you're wiring the lower panel to the upper panel. Um, it's a little easier to do it um, to connect the wires together and keep everything nice and organized. I'm also going ahead and using uh, screw terminals to get the um, the switches and the push button controls on the panel ready to go into the lower switch panel as well. This just saves time as we go down. So here's what those screw terminals look like. Um, it's really important that when you buy these, you buy the quality ones, spend the extra couple of dollars. And then I've also got uh, these little zip zip tie brackets. They're, they save a ton of time and they're super, super cheap. I think a hundred of them was five or 10 bucks. Um, everything's on Amazon, link down below. Um, next up is the uh, um, inside the little white lid there, it's actually the lid for my super glue. Um, I put the flux and then I've got a little solder pot, which uh, you could see as well. And the beauty of the solder pot is you don't have to hold the solder with one hand and the iron with the other. You can, once it's dipped in flux, you can just dip the wire directly into the solder pot. It makes it so much faster, especially with these tiny little wires. Um, so now you see I, I put up a little bit of a clock here just to give you guys an idea of what's going on. That's not in seconds, that is in minutes. So um, just for this one little segment, it was about 45 minutes just to do one half of one side. So all told, I've got probably six or eight hours into this panel total over about three days. So now I'm connecting the screw terminals up to the top half uh, along with the uh, um, the switches. The toggle switches are actually for turning uh, track on and off. I've actually got a little circuit board underneath the track um, which keeps the circuit nice and short which uh, provides a more reliability for the DCS in this case. Although the little circuits that I'm using would work really well for HO or N scale or S or basically anything smaller than O gauge, it would work great. Um, and now I'm just, I'm starting to get the higher voltage AC wires connected together. This is the wire that's gonna be used um, to power the um, uncoupler, um, unloader um, features for the push buttons. Um, again, those push buttons are from guard graves and I removed the boxes because they're big and obnoxious in the last video. So now I'm connecting um, some screw terminals um, for the higher voltage stuff. I like using those with spade connectors for anything that's the, the higher voltage. It just makes it for a better, tighter connection. It's more reliable. And now here I am installing the panel on the layout. Um, you will notice I am not finalizing everything because um, I wanna make sure that every fit, everything fits and it goes where it belongs, but uh, I'm gonna do the final fit and finish uh, when I install the layout in the next video. Um, and the next video should be pretty short actually, um, but I did take a time lapse of my installing it. So this here is actually how I mark all of the um, wires going to the switches. Um, Klein makes a really great product in just a number switch. You can pick it up at Home Depot. I've got an Amazon link down below for you if you want. But otherwise, uh, this is it. You can tell that I like to make sure that the inside of the panel is just as clean as the outside. I want to make sure that if anybody does have issues, they can find that problem very quickly and get it solved. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and uh, like it. It helps others find the videos and it helps me know that you appreciate my work. Thank you for watching.